Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Chef. And we thought of exploring some new areas where we get some good street food. So last time, you know, we had we went to Sarkar Nagar and we had explored the street food over there. So now we were just going around in the evening, this Sunday, and we thought we there is some good street food here in Vidyaranipura. So we came uh, as we came here, we see this mini street food joint if you can see behind me and uh, we thought of exploring the street food here so come on along with us and let's have some street food and let's check out this place together just cross the road and we have come here now if you see we have a couple of shops and uh, food trucks over here so as long as you see they're just getting the business started i think it starts around 5 p.m post 5 p.m only all this uh, food joint starts and also there is, I mean, see there's a barbecue, I suppose this will be a barbecue uh, truck. Behind me is a Chinese uh, food truck, they will chase uh, each other Chinese food. And the third one is uh, anybody who likes to have cow and cheese and chaz, this is a good food truck for the barbecue. And further down there is a Maluda truck. And uh, next No, you forgot about the, the dosa. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the Nigerian dosa truck. So you have 99 varieties of dosa. So this yeah. is a street food, uh, food street, I would call it. So come on along, let's taste it. So finally we are exploring uh, another street food joint. Earlier we tried doing Sarkar Nagar as Jerry told earlier. Uh, and right now we thought of actually going with uh, <laughs> the Vidyard Pura Street Food. Once again close by to my place actually. So we are planning to do a complete food tour when it comes to Vidyard Pura. And let's see, I mean, how it's going to be actually. I mean, tasting all the food. And what I've ordered is like, I mean, I'm just, I mean, uh, over here for the food truck. Uh, it's more of Chinese. What you get over here, one is chicken momos. And uh, we ordered for some noodles. Yeah. I think it's chili garlic. Chili garlic noodles. noodles. Yeah, oh, yeah, what I went with. Yeah. And then one dragon oh. chicken. So these are the three things I ordered. Dishes that you ordered. Let's see, I mean, how how good is it? And let's give a review of it. I'm expecting it. <laughs> so we got a chicken momos. That's around six momos that we have given us with the chili sauce as well as with the mayo. So this is. Wow. I just can't hold it in my hand. I think it's piping hot. Wow. See the interior part of the momo? The filling is like super nicely cooked. Lovely tasty chicken. Mild mild spice. It coupled with this little this uh, red color sauce as well as the mayonnaise. It gives a very nice flavor. The blend of our sauces as well as with the, with the piping hot momo gives a very beautiful taste. So now we got a, a chili garlic noodles which okay. I think hot. I think you may have to try. <laughs> I think I have to take some time to eat this food. <laughs> okay, let me taste it and see. Mm. Well done. The smoky flavor comes in this actually. Nice. Mm. Along with that, the taste of egg which they make with this with the distinct flavor of egg, then a little mild spice. Chicken is nicely cooked. And this is a very good taste. But you there are lots of chunks of chicken, chicken right? Chicken, yes. Also coupled with uh, the veggies, the carrot, capsicum, and the onions too, gives a distinct flavor of it. Very nice, very nicely made. Have to be had with a momo. <laughs> That's the combination I feel is good. So, I think this is our second dish, we have completed it. Now let's go with the third dish and that's going to have it. We are going to do a review soon. And the final dish, dragon chicken. Red, saucy chicken. Whoa. You can see the caspicum as well as the carrots looks really piping hot. I think and I just can't even hold this in my hand too. This is like filling for two people too. It's like value for money. Let's taste and see how is it. Wow. Whoa, piping hot. I hope you can see the, the steam coming out of this. Dragon chicken. 
Mm. How's the jury? <laughs> Chicken is very gun. These are hard pieces. Oh, uh, and mild spice. Actually, this dragon is chicken is spicy. Is spicy. <laughs> mild spice. Actually, when you eat it in the mouth, first time when you start eating it, it's not very spicy. But slowly it starts getting into it. The spice starts singing in. It is. It's a bit spicy, but it compensates it with the sauce. <laughs> Let's start eating our food. <laughs> wow. Super duper heavy. Dinner, I don't know what to call it. Dinner, snack, or and the kind of item. Your, right, your eyes are also red, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and because it is that spicy. That was damn spicy. I, mean, I think I eat it. It's more of a uh, stealth actually. spice what we eat here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You don't like the spice. So, and the, the bill of the game very moderate. It's like. Damn cheap, actually, it's a steel deal. Yeah, we had momos, we had uh, the noodles. That two two people can have it. Yes. <laughs> I think the quantity. Like so heavy. And, and the dragon chicken uh, yeah, to top it up. Uh, no, no, that's the, dragon chicken. Dragon yes, Jerry. Chicken. So all three, it costed around three twenty, right? I want to go to the next two places. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, I'm kind of super full. So. And also we had this food previously also in places other yeah, places. Yeah, Sakhar Nagar. I mean, Sankar we tried the pav bhaji yeah, and I those stuff. So I give a skip of the pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. I'll also just give a skip of the 99 dosa and we'll go directly to the Faluda. Yeah. To the desert. So let's go there. Check out the Faluda. So we need something to at least to quench the cool spiciness yeah. <laughs> of my mouth. I think I'll go for the Faluda. So <laughs> come on All over. right. What have you ordered, Jerry? <laughs> so, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I, I, it was so confusing. <laughs> yeah. So, finally. I yeah, we some. thought of trying oh, rabdi, ooh, but ooh, I think I it's not unavailable. Ordered. One is the kesar badam, uh, one is the chocolate faluda, and the kesar badam faluda. So, this. The, so, rabdi is unavailable. Yeah, unfortunately, it will. Chocolate. Uh, faluda, and this is a badam faluda. You can see. So, Richie is going to give a review of this. So Alright, that's going to be. Go ahead, Richie. Me. They have never tried. What? So, let, let me give a try. Actually, Jerry told me to mix it. Yeah, so this is a chocolate badam, uh, chocolate oh, is this faluda. Yeah, this is a chocolate faluda that you have. So, oh, they even put ice cream oh. into it, and then I think there is badam. Oh. Yeah, there is. And then chocolate is built. The chocolate syrup. That's uh, what I saw them adding. So I can even things. see the chocolate syrup. Uh, I can even see the same your jury. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll mix it up. Chocolate flavor is distinct. It, it's really good. <laughs> really good. This is something different. I'm loving it. And especially, we had a very spicy snack right now. The dragon chicken kind of, I mean, it, it burned the entire. <laughs> Thanks to all the chilies that they put inside. And right now, I mean, it's really a cool. That's what I can say. Superb. We have another thing ordered. What was that, Jerry? The badam. Badam, badam faludas. So let's try that too. This is the badam. Uh, badam, badam faluda. faluda right? Yes. Okay, right. You see the layers of. I can see a lot of. I think this is the cuscus. Right? What? what yes. You, think you have to go till the bottom of the <laughs> glass to dig it. Dig the chocolate out. It looks like a little chocolate down there. With the badam. Wow. Okay, let's taste it, Rajee. I think I got a badam. Oh, you got a badam. Oh, wait. How is it? <laughs> but more of badam in this. So it's, it, it, it's making the difference. They labeled it right actually, the <laughs> faloda. This is more of the badam flavor what you're getting in it. And apart from that, most of the things are the same. But I would prefer that more. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's a chocolate one. <laughs> really good. Yeah. This is more like, I mean, uh, it's more of a badam flavor, which I'm a big fan of badam. Actually, I'm the one who 
asked Jerry to order Bazaar, but <laughs> now I kind of regret <laughs> I thought I, th I should have gone with chocolate. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we can swap it. Anyways, <laughs> at least cool my <laughs> system down from the spiciness of the food. <laughs> okay, so that's my review actually. Really good. Give a try. Actually, you would have seen the crowd over oh, yeah. <laughs> Came here, there was not much of crowd. Now, if you see, like it's getting crowded, people are coming, slowly trickling in, in fact. It's right next to a park also, I see. You see the park over there? There's a little pond. Nice, cool setting. And there's a place even sit there behind them. Oh, they have, oh, they have little uh, sit-outs. That's nice. And there ends my Naluda. Super duper stuff. Enjoy the lovely taste of ice cream and paluda and what do you call it? Wow, <laughs> super filling. Now, after this, I have a little plan. Let's go for some barbecue chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so that's towards the other end. Yeah, I'm just kind of excited. Because just now, when we were trying to eat, that time only we were trying to get the coal fired up and all. So, I thought of after having my paluda, I'll go have a barbecue, barbecue chicken and then I'm gonna go home. So let's wait and see. Let me see the color of this. So the cost of a chocolate baluda and a badam baluda came to 120 rupees. Worth it. Really cheap. And it's a full glass. They also have a half glass. Uh, it's only just 40 rupees or something like that. But they are taking opted for the full glass because of the spice. Thanks. Baluda. And then I'm going to have some barbecue chicken. So stay tuned. And you know what, Jerry? The only negative I found here is it's the mosquitoes that are swarming on my legs. Oh, <laughs> just, thanks to the pond. Over thanks there. to the. <laughs> I hope you can see it. There is a pond. Yeah. Uh, this is, yeah I, it's a really good park to see from the outside, but I'm pretty sure it's a breeding ground when it comes to mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. So let's move on to the next yeah, place. So Huge. finally our barbecue is under preparation <laughs> right behind and uh, yeah. let's just uh, so this will be the last thing what we'll be exploring at this mini food joint <laughs> mini food joint and with there any para <laughs> oh i mean a lot of mosquitoes as i said over the air should be really <laughs> that's a little uh, actually yeah, a negative part of this place kind of buggy. <laughs> yeah either coming up put shoes socks good full pants cover full sleeve i'll try coming a little early because yeah. i didn't find the same trouble uh, like uh, when we dropped them, when we stopped by actually. But later, like when it started getting more darker, uh, you can feel the mosquitoes present. Oh, so, yeah. So, we are waiting patiently for our chicken legs to get cooked. Yeah. And we're going to have a super duper barbecue chicken legs. So, let's review that too and finally we can say uh, Here is our barbecue chicken. Finally, that's why. too big. Yeah, yeah, this huge, nicely, and but it looks really what burnt. The price, Jerry, it's 110. 110? Oh, like I'm here. <laughs> wow, but I mean, uh, for 110, I think it's like 55 rupees. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So the two chicken legs with the mayo as well as the red sauce. What is the red sauce, I'm wondering? I think it's red chili. Red chili. Yeah, red chili. But can, actually, when I tasted it, it came like a kind of sweet sauce. <laughs> yeah, so but uh, let's just give a try. Yeah. So, Rajiv, please do the honors. I, I just need to take a pinch. No, I can. I think it. it's better that you wait. Okay, I got a pinch. You got a pinch, <laughs> and it's how's it like? Uh, you're dipping it in both the sauces. Yeah. Whoa! How is it? First thing I'm sure it's hot. Okay. A little burnt, but still, I'm able to get that barbecue taste. The sauce, the barbecue sauce, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. And fresh chicken, that's something which I can feel. Mm. It's more soft. Looks fresh too. Really good. It's chunky. It's a bit piece actually. Yeah. Really but it's very surprising for street food that you get such good quantity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially the quantity in this restaurant no, was like super. how they're charging the... Yeah. So and it's also the not very costly. My. And it's worth it. Over to you, Jerry. All right. 
finally managed to get a piece of chicken. So let me dip it in. So both the sauces I mix both mayonnaise as well as the chili sauce. Mmm. Chicken is nice, juicy and tender. Really with this masala is nicely like if they put it on the coal, nicely heat it. Give a little charcoal taste. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just like this too, that's good. She's good. So finally had a super duper dinner. Had a lovely barbecue also. In fact, and we enjoyed it totally. How what's your opinion about this place, Richie? Well, I mean I love I loved the Chinese food actually. I mean that was one top pick for me. Although it was spicy, I mean it was thrilling. <laughs> For the price, it kind of justified whatever we got. Yeah. And then um, moving on to the paluda, even that was really good. Very good, yeah. I enjoyed it. I mean, that was more of a. I mean, it kind of cooled my system down <laughs> after having that spicy food. Absolutely. But when it comes to barbecue, it was good, but I feel that it was more burnt, and the price is cheap because mm. you order a chicken leg. Hardly you're gonna get some few couple of bites, yeah. and per piece it's costing around fifty five rupees. It totally came to one hundred and ten bucks. That's yes. it. So that was I, I felt a good place to really uh, enjoy your evening. evening. Snack is open. Richie. It's around ten thirty eleven. They were telling eleven. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean back then most of the things would be like you know like, so it's better. I would suggest come here like around five. To seven is that's the best time to visit. Absolutely, or seven thirty or eight to the max. Absolutely. Uh, for me, I feel it, it, it. The the chicken legs were little salty and little burnt. That's what I. That's my little negative review about it. But rest, it was very tasty. Nice sauces, nice juicy chicken, etc. Uh, the bill also is not very costly. It was dirt cheap, value for money. Well, with your and brother, do take this place out. Yeah. It's good. So if you like a video, like, share, comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, and see you soon. Ouch. Good night. <laughs> I caught the mosquito. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs>